Hello YouTube, it's been a while since I've done a video on my chicken house uh, project. I think this is number six, or maybe number seven. Really no, not much progress, except I'm getting closer to getting my tin on. A uh, little bit of, a uh, uh, little more work to do. I've got all the uh, uh, fasteners in the purlins on this side. I have to finish up the top three purlins, I should say the uh, number from the bottom, I guess, uh, the three that are, you can probably see right there, have uh, not been all fastened down with uh, screws. I uh, thought about using my nail gun, but uh, I don't know, I think you get a little bit more strength with the uh, screws, uh, holding power anyway, so anyway, been a lot faster with the nail gun. But uh, anyway, I don't trust myself sometimes when I get up there getting older. And, uh, sometimes my aim and stuff isn't the best. So I uh, was screws with the back and start over again. So here we go. Uh, got my edge uh, finished off there. Uh, I plan on uh, thinking about cutting in small boards and sticking up in those uh, spots in the overhang. I'd kind of like to have my uh, underside uh, exposed there of the overhang. It gives it a little more character since I am going to expose the bottom. If you can see right here, that does look pretty nice. That will be exposed. I'll have to get underneath there and paint it or stain it a color. And uh, probably going to go with the dark uh, color like what's on the roof. Here we uh, have that brace yet on the side. I'm going to have to move that and then put it along the edge here and uh, prop the uh, building so that it doesn't uh, tip as uh, I take that off, I guess. I'll probably have to put something on there. But uh, if you look on this side here, I have the bottom three rows. I had to put another extra purlin along here to give it a nice finished look like what's underneath here. Like I was telling you, I'm gonna have to get underneath there and clean it, paint it. And that probably be a job for either late fall or uh, next spring. Uh, but I definitely need to get this thing tinned. I think it's really kinda, I think it's coming together pretty decent. I like what it looks like. Uh, there's a little bit of a dip in the roof over there, uh, but I think we're going to be okay. I think I'll start from this side where it's a little bit straighter and then go that way uh, with uh, probably both sides. Start on the uh, east end. Um, yeah, so it's coming along. Uh, today I'm going to have to get, like I said, the fasteners up in the, uh, the uh, three up before I get to the top and I also have to put on, uh, oh yeah, something I did not mention when I was on the other side. I had to put another row of purlin on the top because of the uh, uh, the way the uh, um, ridge cap uh, spreads out and then uh, covers quite an area. It comes about, from the center, comes about nine inches down uh, to the bottom of that ridge cap, but uh, there's quite a long area in there for uh, to screw it down, so I should be fine uh, by adding another 2x4 below that top purlin. So, another thing I gotta do. And uh, believe it or not, uh, everything worked out. The sheathing came with these 20 footers underneath it, and I kinda added that on part of the, uh, as far as the purlins and stuff, I've got the sheeting off of it. Sorry about the wind noise, I'm sure it's going to be uh, bad here, but I am going to walk over here to my trailer, finish my video, and uh, show you what I have for sheathing colors. So something's kind of curious and I'm not exactly sure why they looks like they gave me a sheet I haven't done a count on it but it looks like they gave me a little bit of an extra sheet it's kind of up there. and I think they gave me an extra sheet there's going to be a buffer between the rest of them because they all had them piled up on top of each other um, here's my uh, color for the uh, roof 
roof. I know it's kind of dirty, uh, but that's roof color. It should melt off really nice in the winter and clear off really easy. I'm hoping that the snow doesn't last too long on there. Here is the color for the, my sides, uh, my walls. So there you go, and that is what's going on there. And then also, I'm going to go over here and show you the windows. Sorry for the wind again, man living. Can't help it. I could shoot this, I guess, on a non windier day, but that's what southwestern Minnesota is all about. Western Minnesota is the wind. windows that I am going to use and there's 10 of them and uh, these are the windows I'm putting in in the front five on each side of the door uh, and they're they'll, they're 22 inch ones they'll fit in between the uh, studs uh, two foot center and these are pretty much uh, barn sashes, and they call it a vinyl utility sash. And I bought vinyl because I really didn't want to uh, deal with painting them. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.